Well, the GOP race may have moved on to Florida, but there is a voting controversy that's going on now in South Carolina that's catching a bit of attention. The Palmetto State's Attorney General is saying more than 900 of the voters in the recent elections were actually dead people. And you might wonder, how do those dead people find their way to the polls? That's what we're wondering. Senior correspondent Eric Sean checking this out for us. Eric, uh, wh what's going on here? Well, uh, Martha, South Carolina's Attorney General is now asking the feds to investigate possible voter fraud there. Alan Wilson's a Republican, he says, an analysis of recent elections in the state shows that 953 dead people voted. And in some cases, votes apparently were cast in the names of the deceased who had been dead for as long as six years. Attorney General Wilson cites what he calls voting irregularities, though there is no evidence, they say, so far that any dead people cast ballots in Saturday's Republican presidential primary. In a letter dated January 11th calling for a probe, Wilson wrote, quote, there are numerous discrepancies concerning people who have voted in recent elections who may not have been entitled to vote. Over 900 persons who were deceased at the time of the elections appear to have voted. Voter fraud cannot be tolerated. You know, this is not the first time state elections officials have discovered the possibility of the dead voting. Back in 2008, it took some college journalism students in Connecticut to find about 300 dead people who cast ballots. We talked to one woman who had a ballot cast in her dead mother's name. Well, elections officials blame faulty data, and the Brennan Center for Justice in New York, Martha, says while allegations of dead people voting are, quote, popular and entertaining pop culture, they claim that most cases are unfounded, caused by what they say is just wrong information on the voting rolls. Hmm, really? Well, that's interesting. So, Eric, this comes, of course, as a controversy over South Carolina's voter ID law is also going on. Yeah, th uh, that's a huge controversy. The Department of Justice, as you may know, has moved to stop South Carolina from enacting its new controversial voter ID law that requires a photo ID to vote. Attorney General Eric Holder says the law discriminates against minorities who do not have that proper identification. They say an estimated 82,000 people in South Carolina may not have the proper photo ID. Well, South Carolina Republican Governor Nikki Haley has called the Justice Department effort a, quote, terrible, clearly political decision. She's vowed to appeal it in court. And, of course, if you suspect voter fraud or election problems where you live, there's our address, voter fraud at Fox We know News. who to call. Com. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> right. Eric Sean in the newsroom.